Um, we we really just want to be able to talk about sex as something that is normal, but something that is also age appropriate. You know, you you do it. This is what you do at this point. Yeah. yeah? Uh, we don't want to keep telling our our nineteen year olds that it is very bad to kiss a boy. It is very bad to do this and that. We really do have to um, take um, context right now the, the the current context into consideration yeah and um we, we really we also need to be realistic when we are talking about um what what they have access to you know yeah. because a lot of kids even in my practice uh, a lot of kids come and they're addicted to porn and these are children who are 15 who are 16 and we really it's, it's it becomes difficult to handle it yeah so so liz how so, much so how much information is too much information? So a young toddler who's your child comes in and says, I have a boyfriend or I have a girlfriend. I mean, so uh, how, how, how do you measure the information that you should give at that point? First, how do you even react? Okay, don't, don't panic. That's the first thing I'd like to say. Um, if a, a, a small child, a six-year-old, maybe comes in and says, I have a boyfriend, Clearly, that boyfriend is not to the magnitude of a boyfriend um, of a maybe 20-year-old, yeah? Because this child, we know, even cognitively, they are not developed to the level where they can have a boyfriend and they're already having sex and stuff. And even if they are kissing, maybe it will just be small pecs and stuff like that, yeah? That's the assumption. But let's find the information out from the child. So, so um, say the child child's name is Susan. So Susan, you have a boyfriend. Oh, okay. What is the name of your boyfriend? You know, what do you guys do together? You, you know, as boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, just find out what it is that is happening. And then you can now have the conversation again at their level. Don't start talking to this six year old about sex, which they probably don't understand then. But once you find out the information that they do understand, then use that information same, same to thing. teach this child for example, if the child says we kiss, then you can tell the child, oh, I think kissing is up for, for bigger people. Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's not what you want to be doing at your age. Okay. George, yeah? let me bring you in as we wind up this discussion. So what is your advice to parents this morning, George? Okay. So um, for me, I say yes, have the discussions. And two, having the discussion is not a guarantee. So I think it's very important what she said. It's very, very important that you don't demonize the action. So, for example, if you catch your 10-year-old watching porn, the natural reaction from the way we were parented is to go all out warn the person. And you shame the child. You have to... What you just done is created a monster because you've closed that door absolutely shut. It's going to be a very difficult... It's, it's the point at which you start you can really get an opportunity to engage on how much he knows and what are the values. Two, your value system mm -hmm. has to be inculcated in your child that it is about self-love and self-preservation. It's I love my body, not anyone can touch it. My body is precious. It is my temple. Mm -hmm. So you, you're going more into I love myself as opposed to that's why I will not do this thing. These things are not good for me. No one will go this far with me. It's, it's more that kind of thing. And very importantly, the inner voices you put in your children, which is what she's talking about, the value system, are so critical because um, you have to really, it's you who puts in the voice whether the child loves themselves, is confident, is uh, believes they are good people. If a child th thinks they're a bad person because of what you have put inside their head, trust me, yeah. bad things become very attractive. Okay. All right. Liz, very briefly, just your advice to parents. Um, parents, let's talk to our children. Okay. These, these are our children. This is, um, this is the reality on the ground. They are exposed earlier and earlier. They are maturing earlier and earlier. Let's talk. If you cannot talk to your child by yourself for some reason or another, look for an aunt, look for an uncle, look for or somebody who can be able to, to talk to them and be careful that we, we don't um, we don't demonize sexuality. Okay. We explain it as it really it is. All right. Um, and at the child 
this level yes thank you thank you so much that's lisa emma psychologist and george who was a businessman and also a parent to just speaking to us about at what point do you speak to your children about the issues their sexuality and how much information do you give